Hey guys, I'm Roland Techfusiast and I've used the Honor Magic 5 Pro for more than two weeks and here's how it went. Let's take a look. The Honor Magic 5 Pro is a beautifully crafted smartphone with gentle curves all around the side without a single sight of sharp edges. It feels comfortable and great in hand and a frosted glass panel has a texture that makes this meadow green look stunning. The only downside is that it's extremely slippery and I had to put on a case to use it as it kept sliding out of hands after just a few hours. The camera module on the back is absolutely gigantic. The circular camera island has a slight curvature that makes it transition seamlessly into the back panel, although it protrudes ever so slightly. That said, the phone sits flush on a flat surface and it won't wobble on a table, unlike many other phones. The sides are flat with rounded off edges and are made of aluminium. The right side sports the volume rocker and a power button, there's nothing on the left and the top houses an IR sensor, a microphone and a speaker. The bottom contains the USB-C port, another microphone, another speaker and the SIM card slot. Overall, the Honor Magic 5 Pro looks and feels elegant and stylish, and dare I say, it might be one of the best looking phones in 2023. I just wish Honor made the back surface a little bit less slippery, but that might not be a massive issue for everyone since most people use cases nowadays. Honor has two models available from the Magic 5 Pro, and here I'm reviewing the higher end model of the two, which is available in the meadow green color option. It comes with 512 gigs of storage, 12 gigs of RAM, and it also has a 256 gigabyte model with 8 gigs of RAM, which comes in a black color. As for the rest of the specs, it packs most of the latest and the greatest. Honor was proud to announce that the Magic 5 Pro claimed the number one spot on the ExoMark ranking for smartphone camera and smartphone display charts, and I have to say, it's a pretty well deserved spot. The display always looked bright and beautiful, but more on that later. The Honor Magic 5 Pro is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, and it performs as you would expect. Graphics intensive games have never been an issue and the device was more than capable of using multiple applications simultaneously. I never experienced any slowdowns or any sluggish behaviour, even after pushing it to its limits while gaming for over an hour. The Magic Fire Pro comes with a massive 6.8 inch LTPO OLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and I must say, it's been a while since I've seen a display that looked this good. The Magic Fire Pro looks stunning from all angles and is bright, colourful and accurate. It's a joy to use whether I'm inside or outside on the sun. Speaking of the sun, the phone has a peak brightness of 1800 nits, making it easy to see in direct sunlight. I always found the panel responsive and watching movies and multitasking was always a breeze. Movies and videos looked amazing and games were fun to play for extended periods. If there's a nitpick, it would be that I'm still not a fan of the curved edges, which I often found to be distracting. The curved panel made me typing slower and harder and while the content looked amazing, I just wish Honor made it flatter and make it more user friendly. That said, the Magic 5 Pro's display is excellent and up for any task. If you're after the best displays on the market, the Magic 5 Pro might be the one you're looking for with its exceptional colour accuracy, sharpness and bright panel. Moving on to the software bit, the Magic Fire Pro doesn't disappoint and the device is one of the first in the series to receive 3 years of Android OS and 5 years of security updates in line with what Google offers for its Pixel devices. I love to see it and it's great that more companies are following suit. As for the software itself, the Magic Fire Pro comes with Magic OS 7.1 based on Android 13. It has most of the features that you expect from a Honor device and it has the usual looks and the ecosystem built in to sync up with other existing Honor devices such as Airbus buds, tablets, laptops and smartwatches. Magic OS 7.1 also comes with a nice user interface and I like Honor's take on the minimalist looks. I've used the Honor Magic 5 Pro for more than two weeks and during that time I didn't face any slowdowns, legs and the operating system didn't hang once. I played a few graphics intensive games and multitask using two applications simultaneously and the device was always bother smooth. The Magic 5 Pro was always a phone I could rely on and it never let me down. In general the software is pretty much up to par with what we've seen in the past from Honor and and I'd love to mention that Material U isn't implemented and nowhere to be found, which means that you won't get wallpaper based colour theming across the device unless you change the theme directly in the settings. The default launcher has large folders and cards, which is just Honor's way of saying widgets, and the layout can be tweaked to your liking, making it more customizable. There's also an always on display feature, a multitasking side menu, and many more under the hood features that make this a compelling and attractive smartphone. Overall, if you're looking for a stockish user interface, with Honor's clean looks 
and neat features, you won't be disappointed. However, keep in mind that some Android 13 features will not exist here, and it's uncertain whether they'll arrive in the future. That said, the software gets a solid pass from me, and I enjoyed my experience with it. The Honor Magic 5 Pro sports a triple camera setup on the back, consisting of a 50 megapixel primary, a 50 megapixel ultra wide, and a 50 megapixel telephoto sensor. The triple 50 megapixel camera array doesn't just look stylish, but it also provides a photo quality that looks absolutely stunning, whether you're shooting in broad daylight or at night in pitch black. The primary 50 megapixel camera takes stunning images on all lighting conditions, and the pictures always come out sharp with great dynamic range and plenty of detail. I took the Magic 5 Pro on a holiday with me to Brighton, and needless to say, the phone captured some breathtaking photos on the beach. The image quality is slightly worse at night, but Honor managed to ensure that the sensor can capture plenty of light without introducing too much noise, and I'm pretty much impressed with the overall quality of the images. The ultrawide camera is equally just as impressive, and Honor's algorithm does a great job at balancing things. The photo sides aren't distorted unlike some other competitive smartphones, and they contain more than enough details, sharpness and contrast to make it straight onto your Instagram without any edits. Moving on to the telephoto sensor, I have to say I'm truly amazed. The Magic 5 Pro lets you zoom in 0.1 increments, and the phone can capture 35 times zoom using the optical lens, and up to 50 times using the digital feature. The shots are usually only impressive up to 10 times zoom. Still, the camera and the perspective that you can capture from these unique angles can provide some head-turning images and great lighting conditions. The selfies are also excellent, and the 12 megapixel sensor captured plenty of detail with enough sharpness and dynamic range to be social media ready. I rarely found the camera to be out of focus, and the nighttime capability is just as impressive as it is during daytime. Overall, the Honor Magic 5 Pro is an excellent camera smartphone, and dare I say, one of the best point and shoot camera systems we've seen so far this year. If you're after a versatile and very capable camera system, the Honor Magic 5 Pro has got your back. The Magic 5 Pro sports a large 5100 mAh battery, capable of lasting you more than a full workday on a single charge. I used the device as my daily for more than two weeks, and during that time, I took plenty of photos, played games, and used the phone for browsing the internet and navigating around using the GPS. It comfortably lasted me all day on a single charge. The Magic 5 Pro doesn't boast 100 watt fast wired and wireless charging like its predecessor, but luckily Honor was able to equip the phone with a 66 watt fast wired charging solution and provide support for 50 watts wireless charging. A full charge using the wired solution takes around 50 minutes, and a quick 20 to 30 minute top up will also give you enough juice to last you a full day. I do have to mention that using anything other than the provided power brick and the cable will provide a limited charging speed. When I tried to charge Charging the Magic 5 Pro using my Samsung cable and a 25 watt power adapter, the phone would only receive 5 watts of speed, and the same could be said when I attempted to charge the phone with a wireless charger. I understand some of the reasoning behind this, but I hope Honor can lift this limitation in the future, as it can be frustrating when you want to charge your device at a friend's house or in the car. Aside from that, the Magic 5 Pro provides impressive charging speeds and an above average battery life that stands out among the myriad of high end smartphones. The Magic 5 Pro does a great job at running things efficiently, and if you're looking for a powerful flagship for less, the Magic 5 Pro is an excellent alternative for both power and general users. The Magic 5 Pro is a serious contender to the Galaxy S23 series, the iPhones and the Pixels, and I think Honor did an excellent job. Sure enough, it would have been better if the phone was less slippery and more widely available in places like the US and Canada, but there's really not much else I can nitpick about, it's just an excellent overall device. So should you buy the Honor Magic 5 Pro? I think it's a fairly easy and definite answer. If you're after a beautifully crafted high-end smartphone with a gorgeous display and outstanding camera performance, the Magic 5 Pro is one of the best phones you can buy right now. The other main reason that makes the Magic 5 Pro an easy recommendation is the commitment Honor made, which is that it'll receive 3 years of OS and 5 years of security updates, making it one of the best high-end phones on the market today. The only other players offering similar or even better commitments are Samsung, Google and Oppo, and the latter isn't widely available in Western markets, making Honor an appealing alternative. So there you have it, I hope you found this video useful, if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. With that said, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.